In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na2S. This is zinc sulfate plus sodium sulfide. The first thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, the molecular equation is already balanced, so we don't have to worry about that. Next, we write the state for each substance. Sulfates in general are soluble. Zinc sulfate, that's soluble. We write an AQ, since it'll dissolve in water, split apart into its ions. Sodium compounds, if you know your solubility rules, also very soluble. Then we get to zinc sulfide. Sulfides in general are insoluble. That means they won't dissolve in water, so they remain a solid. Zinc sulfide is insoluble, so we write S. It's a solid. These two substances, they react, and they form this zinc sulfide, and it's a solid, so it's a precipitate falls to the bottom of the test tube. Sodium compounds, very soluble, AQ. So we have our states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us the complete ionic equation. Zinc is always going to be 2 plus, and the sulfate ion, the whole thing, 2 minus. So we'll have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, and then we'll have the sulfate ion. I'll write the states later. Let's not do that right now plus sodium group 1 is 1 plus the sulfide ion, 2 minus. So we have two sodium ions, and a plus, and then we have the sulfide ion, S2 minus. And these are the reactants. For the products in a net ionic equation, you don't split solids apart. So we'll just have Z and S. It'll stay together, and then we'll have, we have sodium, and then that sulfide ion, 2 minus. So two sodium ions, just like the reactants, and then the sulfate ion, SO4, 2 minus. So we have our products here. At this point, we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides. So when I look at the reactants here and the products, I see in the reactants there's that sulfate ion again in the products here. That's a spectator ion. We'll cross that out. Two sodium ions in the reactants, two in the products spectator ions. Cross them out. What's left? That's the net ionic equation for ZnSO4 plus Na2S. I'll clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. And this is the balanced net ionic equation for zinc sulfate plus sodium sulfide. If you notice the charge, we have 2 plus, 2 minus, that adds up to zero. Net charge is zero here. For the products, this is a neutral compound. Net charge is zero. So charge is balanced, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for zinc sulfate plus sodium sulfide. Thanks for watching.